Hey everybody, what's up? Don Carr here with the Fender Santa Ana Overdrive. The Santa Ana is an FET based circuit, so that means that it's really dynamic and it responds to your uh, picking and volume knob changes, but it's also very articulate at the same time, no matter how much gain you have on it. And this thing's got a really wide gain range. This is a completely unique circuit. Uh, it's designed from the ground up from the think tank at Fender, and it's got a lot of great features that apply to a lot of different rigs, so it'll help you dial in your sound no matter what guitar and amp combo you have. The main feature that gives you a wide tonal palette with this pedal is the fact that there's a four band EQ. You can see there's bass, middle, treble, and presence. Now normally with an EQ on a distortion pedal, you kind of find your spot, set it, and forget it. But I'm going to sweep through each one of these so you can really hear how effective it is and how much it'll help you dial it in. Let's check out the uh, gain and the boost function. You'll see that there's a really wide range and it's all usable. In the middle of the pedal, there's a voice switch, and what that does is change the overall character of the EQ. So in A mode, which is American, there's a classic kind of blackface scoop, and in B mode, which is British, there's a lower mid punch. Basically, that means it plays well with a wide variety of amps and guitars. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna stay in the regular mode of the Blues Junior, and I'm gonna switch back and forth between the A and the B. And then I'm gonna engage the fat switch, which changes the EQ character uh, of the uh, Blues Junior. And then I'm gonna go back and forth in the A and B mode. <laughs>
boost switch can be used as either a drive boost or a level boost. Now in drive mode, basically what you're doing is it's like turning up the drive control, but there's also a little extra upper mid added just for clarity. In level boost mode, it's just a clean boost, which is great if you want to make a part stand out a little more. And it comes from the factory at uh, a 10 dB boost. Now, a nice feature is inside the pedal, there is a trim pot and you can adjust that to whatever you need. You can turn it up or turn it down. There's a switch on the front panel of the pedal that allows you to select between level boost or drive boost. But even better than that, there's two lights, one on either side here, and that lets you know which mode you're in. So here we are in drive mode. See this one lights up. We're in level mode and that one lights up. Another front panel switch allows you to choose between buffered bypass and true bypass. Now this is great depending on how you have the rest of your rig set up. For example, if you need the buffer to uh, drive long cable lengths or through other pedals, like if you're having impedance issues, it's there and you can use it and it's really subtle sounding. Or if you prefer true bypass, you can switch it off. All the knobs have LEDs on them, which is great for seeing your settings on a poorly lit stage. But if you don't want that, you can turn it off as well. There's a magnetic battery door mounted on the rear panel, which makes it really easy to change batteries, even if it's mounted to a pedal board. It feels really solid too, like it won't accidentally come open, and as you can see, the battery snaps in place. Hey, thanks for checking out Fender's Santa Ana Overdrive with me. If you have any questions about this or any other Fender product, make sure to contact your Sweetwater sales engineer, or you can check us out online at Sweetwater.com. Thanks. <laughs>